Jurassic Park first became a massive success when the novel released back in 1991. The anticipation for this title was immense as the rights for the movie adaptation were purchased long before the book even came out. Within the first novel, we were given 13 hours of reading time with many thrilling scenes and exciting scenarios to make up in our head. However, in contrast, the movie had only 2 hours of screen time with a lot of the book's scenes being reimagined or not being told whatsoever. But thankfully, as time has now moved on, technology has gotten better and we're now able to animate some of these scenes that were not used in the book. I recently worked with InGen2D on a YouTube video to get some animation done for a retelling of Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park. In this animation, I was given the voice role of Robert Muldoon as he was British in the books. This was really really fun to make, so please go on over to the original video which you can find via a link in the description to show your support, as he plans to upload more and similar content just like this in the future. But for now, in Gen 2D, take it away. Before Steven Spielberg would direct the iconic blockbuster, Michael Crichton's original Jurassic Park novel had many terrifying and violent scenes that would be cut from the film, never to be shown to the public. The jeep bounced along in the glaring sun. Muldoon was driving with Gennaro at his side. They came to an open field and Muldoon stopped the car. Christ, it's hot. Gennaro stared out into the open field shimmering in the morning heat. There was still no sign of Grant and the children. Or the Tyrannosaur. Muldoon. Yeah? You got your onboards? I found the Rex. He's in grid 442, going to 443. Just a minute. Yeah, I've got him now, following the river. Take it easy with him, just immobilize him. Don't worry, I won't hurt him. Remember, the Tyrannosaur's our main tourist attraction. Bloody fool, they're still talking about tourists. <sighs> Let's go see Rexy and give him a dose. You're looking forward to this? I've wanted to put a needle in this big bastard for a while. And there he is. The Tyrannosaur was further ahead, moving along the river. You want to help? You can break out those canisters by your feet. Gennaro opened the case full of canisters, each the size of a milk bottle. You snap off the tip and screw on the needle. That's the plunger. Compresses on impact. Muldoon sat forward with the air rifle. It looked to Gennaro more like a rocket launcher or a bazooka. What's Morrow 709? Standard animal trank. We'll try a thousand cc's to start. That should do it. Tyrannosaurus Rex is 8 tons and very mean. That matters to the dose. Why? Animal dose is partly body weight and partly temperament. You shoot the same dose of 709 into an elephant, hippo and rhino, you'll slow the first two down. But the rhino will get fighting mad. However, chase him down long enough and he'll die of an adrenaline shock. Strange combo of tough and delicate. Truth is, we know a lot about handling mammals, we know a lot less about reptiles, and we know nothing about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are entirely new animals. You consider them reptiles? No. Dinosaurs don't fit any existing categories. They're as variable as mammals. Some are big, some are small, some are mean, some are docile, some are stupid, and some are very, very intelligent. Like the raptors? Raptors are smart, very smart. Believe me, all the problems we have right now are nothing compared to if the raptors were to get out of their holding pen. Ah, I think this is as close as we can get to our Rexy. Wonder what he sees in there. Maybe he's trying to get at the Microceratopsians in the trees. Ah, they'll run him a merry chase. Muldoon backed the jeep around 50 yards away from the Tyrannosaur. Get behind a wheel and put your seatbelt on. You done this very often before? Never. I'll try to get just behind the auditorial, Metis. 
We'll see how it goes from there. You hit him? Missed. Damn laser sights. See if there's a battery in the case. A what? A battery. It's about as big as your finger. Grey markings. He didn't see a battery anywhere. Muldoon, this is Arnold. Get out of there. Over. I know what I'm doing. Go, go! Go, damn it, go! Jesus. Could have sworn I hit him the second time. I'd say you missed. The needle must have broken off before the plunger injected. Admit it, you missed. Yeah, I, uh, I missed. Battery was dead in the damned laser sights. My fault, I, I should have checked. Let's go get some more canisters. Control. Yes. We're headed back to base. Well, there you have it. That was actually a lot of fun to make. I know for a fact that he's definitely going to be uploading more of these later on his channel, so please, please, please go ahead and go show your support to his channel if you enjoy this animation whatsoever. He does all of this work by himself, besides the voiceover stuff. There's actually some content already uploaded there that you have not seen yet, so definitely go give that a shout if you haven't already done so. And hopefully it won't be long until we get to see the next episode. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, like the video if you enjoyed, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Could have sworn I hit him the second time. I'd say you missed. The needle must have broken off before the plunger injected. Admit it, you missed. Yeah, I, uh, I missed. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.